What's up guys, uh, this is Travis with My Bring Back, and this is going to be the intro video for the series of Android development, the basics. Uh, this is the first video, we're just going to install the, install the software that we're going to need to develop our apps and our games and all that sweet stuff. And you're in luck because I'm going to install it with you since I just got this new computer. It's a Mac, so I don't really know how to use that yet. I'm a Mac virgin. But uh, first thing we're going to want to do is go to Google, just search Eclipse and let's see here Eclipse download you want to download the Eclipse IDE for Java developers and pick whichever um, system you're on it should auto automatically have it if you're on Windows or Mac OS up there I have a 64 bit I believe and but most likely if you didn't buy a brand new computer that costs you a lot of money it's going to be 32 bit for whatever system you're running on and we're just gonna download that there and then the other thing we're gonna need is the Android SDK basically the SDK is um, all the Android program programming language and you know wow that was a terrible definition <laughs> basically it's everything you're gonna need to know or need to have to the de to develop for Android applications and such so again you just search Android SDK in Google and then it most likely will bring you to this site. I'll put all the links and such in the blog post or in the description on YouTube so you can just kinda click on those save yourself some time. But again you just want to download whatever uh, whatever system you're operating on. Alright if you haven't noticed I clipped the video because I pretty much messed up um, that, that second the second half of this tutorial um, because just the layout's a little bit different than Windows and I was like going all over the place it took too long so I'm just coming back real quick I'm gonna talk about what this series is gonna hold while you guys are downloading uh, the SDK and Eclipse basically this is gonna get everyone off the ground and starting you know to jog a little bit we aren't gonna be running too much um, because I want everyone to learn even someone with no Java programming background or even any pa ba uh, programming background at all and um, basically this is going to be the basic series which will kind of get you guys up to par a lot of the Android books out there right now expect everyone to know Java and you're going to be confused anyways I want to at least have this basic series um, get you to the point where if you buy those books you'll understand what's going on to a sense and actually learn something from them instead of being completely confused the whole time but we'll eventually get into a ton of sweet aspects game development um, OpenGL you'll learn some of that uh, you know C++ to optimize and even like you know some web stuff alright so enough with the small talk let's get down to it um, basically after you downloaded both those we need to extract it into your main hard drive that's where I like to keep this um, so for Windows, you know, that's your C drive or whatnot. And for uh, Mac, it's right here, the Macintosh hard drive. Uh, but, but what we need to do is extract both those. So we're just going to extract Eclipse and extract the, the SDK. And what we need to do after that is we're going to open up Eclipse. So we're going to go to our Eclipse folder, open that up, and uh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna trust it. It's from the internet, but you know it's not gonna kill us. And basically, what this is is your workspace where you're gonna keep all your Android projects and all your files, all your sweet stuff. You wanna know where this location is because when you add images, you know songs, all that other stuff, uh, you wanna know where it is. So we're gonna browse. I'm gonna keep it in my documents, and I'm gonna create a new folder just called the basics and create, and then hit open okay clips takes a little bit to load here and then uh, we're gonna close the welcome screen so what it should look like it's not too welcoming so we're just gonna close it because it's not it's not that pretty or anything either um, and then what we need to do is we need to go up to our our help and install new software and basically we're gonna need a web or basically this is gonna be a you know a web link and we need to go back to the Android developer page right here and uh, down here to the ADT plugin uh, we're going to click on there 
and there should be a link that you need to copy right here downloading the AT, ADT plugin we're just gonna hit control copy and then we're gonna go back to Eclipse control V and hit add and label it whatever I'm just gonna say ADT it's gonna take a few seconds here um, and basically we're just gonna install the developer tools that we need for Android development all right that took a little bit longer than I thought um, but basically what we need to do is just hit uh, next and accept all these license licenses hit finish if you want to read through all the documentation of those licenses you can um, I didn't I probably just sold my soul to the devil or something but um, this comes up hit OK and restart real quick same project there and then the next thing we need to do is get that SDK um, incorporated with our Eclipse here and how we do that is we go into wherever we save the SDK on our hard drive and for Windows once you open that up there should be like the logo is like that little green Android dude and it says like SDK manager or something you want to click on that uh, but for Windows you want to go into tools and then Android right here and hit open and it's basically gonna gonna open up this here and this is where we need to install what devices we want to program for so you go down to adv available uh, packages and we're gonna go into I mean you can click both those that's what I'd probably do if I was you but just for the sake of time I'm gonna just select some uh, the SD, SDK platform tools revision and uh, these are the different Android um, Android basically operating systems that that are out right now like for old phones or you know phones that haven't been updated uh, you're gonna develop for the 1.5 and then for like the honey honeycomb is the three uh, the three level here um, so the, that'll be for your tablets and such but I'm just gonna select 2.2 .2 because that's what my phone's running on I believe and then uh, you can also download some samples to look through code I'd recommend that again I'll probably download all this stuff um, but just to kinda explain what's going on here for example you can get some API's from Google and so if you're using Google Maps or anything like that you're gonna wanna download one of those so I'm just gonna hit API 8 as well and install selected accept accept all install wow it's gonna be the next 50 cent song accept all install what up pop you with my gun watch out um yeah I'm a nerd but uh, so we're gonna install those and basically what the API level is uh, when you're programming some of the new versions you can use certain methods and certain functions uh, that you won't be able to use in the older API levels um, for obvious reasons because the phone won't be able to be capable of running those functions or whatever um, so we're gonna stick to around the API 8 uh, platform throughout the tutorials most of the code that we're gonna be doing will work for all these um, so you don't have to worry about that I just wanted to kind of give you an update or kind of an overview of the APIs alright and once that gets done uh, it's gonna ask about the AB or the ADB has been updated uh, do you want to restart it just hit yes and there we go hit done and the other thing we're gonna do is set up our visual device real quick this is the emulator you're gonna run it uh, the, to test your programs if you don't have a phone uh, we're just gonna hit new and we're just gonna label it droid X because um, that's phone I have and then we have whatever plat platforms we just downloaded or packages um, and again this is just level 2.2 uh, .2. I'm gonna select that and if you want to set up like a fake SD card you can do that as well I'm just gonna have it be a hundred megabytes or whatever um, and hit create 
and it has created our droid X alright and now the only other thing we need to do is go back into Eclipse and then we're gonna go up to um, the windows okay then we need to set up uh, the SDK and the preferences um, and basically on uh, on Windows it's gonna be over here somewhere and then you click down and it's gonna be preferences it's one of these last three tabs I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to look for it I think it's like second to the bottom but uh, and on a Mac uh, you just hit Eclipse preferences and then you should see this Android here now and you want to click this and locate where your SDK is so you hit browse and then again your C drive or your Macintosh hard drive or basically wherever you saved it and then you just need to find this folder um, where your SDK is um, and hit open and then apply and it will load all of those uh, platforms that you just installed and hit OK um, and I think you're you're good to go I'm pretty sure that's the end of the tutorial uh, because we set up everything so you're golden um, but if you liked it if you guys are looking forward to more in the future there's gonna be a ton of stuff you're gonna learn a lot about but uh, if you liked it just hit thumbs up subscribe you know leave a comment leave some love leave some hate um, draw a picture and uh, you know send it to me um, you go to the form on mybringback.com you know you can do all these things and then you know you're good to go for the next tutorial uh, so anyways uh, that's basically the end of the tutorial and thanks for everything you guys um, please subscribe again and I'll catch you guys next time.